So here I'm back with another video. A bit of an upgrade from the last full lock video that I recorded. And, you know, I've picked up a few tips and tricks to make this process go a lot quicker, to make everything look a lot more on point. And I just wanted to share them with you because this is gonna be my protective hairstyle from vacation. I'm in love with it. All right, so just keep watching my tutorial if you want to know how I got this look. You're gonna need a crochet needle, some nail glue, some Jamaican twist braid, and some curly hair of your choice. Okay, so I'm just stealing a clip from the previous video that I did on full locks just because the way I set my hair for this hairstyle is gonna be exactly the same. I start off with blow dried hair, and all I'm gonna do is separate my hair into small sections, braiding the roots, and then twisting the ends. So in the video, the little clip of me you saw at the beginning of this tutorial, I actually had my cousin help me with the parts just so that they would come out a lot neater. Now I'm going to let you guys know how I prepare the hair to do the full locks on my twist. So the Marley hair doesn't need any prepping because it already comes sectioned off, but I had a really long curly hair that I was using. So in order to make that work and just make it last for my whole head, what I did was I cut that hair in half and then from each half, I split it into two. You'll see that I was able to stretch the one curl into four different curls that I use for each full lock. So what I used was this crochet needle and you'll notice there's a little bit of a hoop in there. And I take one of those curls that I showed you and a piece of the Marley hair, like I said, that's how it comes straight out the pack. And I fold them in half together. So I'm going to open the crochet needle with you know the hook part facing the ceiling and I'm going to slide the hook straight through the middle of my twist and I'm gonna attach the Marley hair and the curly hair onto the hook and then I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna close the needle and just slide it through right through the middle of the twist. Once I do that I'm just going to grab one piece of the curl and one piece of the full lock and I'm just going to pull the other side through. Alright, so now once both sides are sticking out uh, from inside of the twist, I'm going to actually stretch one side of the curl and one side of the Marley hair so that they're uneven. And actually that one side of the curl is longer than the other side and one side of the Marley hair is longer than the other. I'm going to take the long side of the Marley hair and I'm going to twist it around my root and twist it around all of the other hairs including my, my twist. So just twist it around everything. And you just keep going all the way down. So I wanted to mention to you guys because I didn't actually record the other twist that I did, but uh, further towards the back of my hair, the back full locks, I actually would stop in the middle of twisting the hair around to make the full lock and grab a piece of the curly hair, just a tiny piece of it, and leave it out. And that kind of softens up the full lock and it makes it so that the curl starts earlier in the lock. So I just want to insert this clip in real quick because if you want long full locks you're gonna have to do this step. You're gonna take an extra piece of Marley hair and twist each piece in opposite directions and kind of just twist it around like you're continuing you know the full lock. So you want to just this will give you more hair to wrap around and you want to just keep going down until you reach the length that you want. And once you reach the bottom you'll know you're well 
once you continue going down, you'll notice that you'll run out of hair and you're just gonna keep following from each side to make you know the hair thin out at the bottom so that you can finish your full lock. So towards the bottom of the full lock, you wanna take the rest of the hair and start twisting it upwards in the same direction that you were twisting it downwards. And what you're gonna do is you're, in order to make it stay instead of burning it like I did in my last video, I'm using nail glue. Now nail glue is really strong so you wanna make sure to not get it on your fingers, but you wanna use the nail glue on the full lock and then keep twisting the rest of the hair upwards. And this will for sure hold your full lock in place so that it doesn't start to unravel. Also make sure when you're twisting your full lock that every twist kind of overlaps the other or else, again, that'll make the full lock unravel as well. And at the bottom of your full lock, you may have some hair left over and you just wanna take your scissors and trim it off. This didn't happen after all of my full locks. Some of the remainder, I was just able to twist it up and glue it. But if it's really long, like the remaining piece is really long, you could just cut it off. So that pretty much completes the look. I think the fact that I got my cousin to help me with the parts made a huge difference. The fact that I had uh, full locks varying in lengths and curls varying in different lengths um, helped to give that fullness that I was looking for as well. Obviously, you know, the crochet needle method helped me to get my my full locks um, to be tighter around the root. I hope you liked my tutorial and I hope to see you soon in my next video.